everyone, and welcome back to the Red Beard Outdoors podcast. I am Jonathan, your host, and here at Red Beard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. And I want to share that journey with you, the listener. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's so many podcasts out there, yet you continue to come back to mine. So I really appreciate that. I have a special one for you today. It is a question that was fielded a little while back. I wanted to take some time to really reflect on the question before I shared it today. So uh, first of all, I just want to give a shout out to the partners and sponsors of the show and just give a thank you and also kind of point you guys in the right direction as to maybe gear or equipment uh, or supplements that I use to keep me on track. So first and foremost, of course, First Form and First Form Outdoors, Alpen Fuel, Heather's Choice, Kafaru, best backpacks on the market, Black Ovis, Absolute Aid, CBD Chewables, Affect Beard Oil. All of those companies, guys, are companies that I use, and I want you to use the best as well. That's why I'm able to share either a discount with you or free shipping, and I just want you guys to have the best of the best when it comes to any of these companies that I've shared with you. And to keep the podcast rolling, definitely is helpful to support companies that I work with. So thank you again so much for that. I would also like to give a shout out to, of course, the Fit Crew. So Redbeard's Fit Crew, go join us over there on Facebook. Again, the link's down below, guys. Just a great group of individuals that is supporting each other in their goals, uh, fitness, family, just getting better, enjoying life, being more successful. And of course, over at First Form Outdoors on the Facebook page as well. So let's get into today's episode. It was a great question that was fielded a little while back. And like I said, I wanted to take some time to really reflect on it. It's kind of a bigger question and it it really means it's a little bit more in depth than uh, the normal Ask Redbeard question. So I just wanted to, to review it, think about it, and then get back to you guys. So the biggest lesson of 2021. So yeah, I know we're more than halfway through 2022. This question was given to me back in May and I've taken some time to think about it. The biggest lesson that I learned in 2021, guys, it's not, it's not going to seem that complicated and it may seem a little silly that I waited so long to, to answer it on the podcast. Uh, But there were, there were so many things that I learned in 2021. And the biggest thing though, that I learned was that I am not stuck. Therefore, you are not stuck, you as the the listener. Keep that in mind. No matter what situation you're in right now, you are not stuck. There are always choices that can be made. Now, why do I say that? Well, I had a lot of success with my fitness, uh, nutrition goals, uh, starting up Redbridge Fit Crew, the podcast, all of those things during 2021. So it was a good year right? Uh, there was still the, uh, the Corona craziness that was going on as far as confusion. And when I say craziness, I mean, confusion, no one really knew because there's a ton of stuff going on. It's very complicated subject, but all of that was still going on yet. I feel like things started going really fast for me, for red beard outdoors, excuse me. And for the family, for my family, they were heading upward. 2020 was, was good. 2021 was even better. 2022 has just exploded. So in 2021, uh, I was at a job that I, I, I had kind of become complacent. Uh, I liked the job, but more the people that I worked with and being remote, I realized that I can still talk to them and don't necessarily have to feel stuck at this job. So I applied for some positions that uh, I feel like I checked all the boxes for and maybe even stood out a little bit. And maybe that was my own arrogance. Uh, It was ego. I I don't know. Either way, I didn't get this position specifically that I was looking for. I was wanting upward growth. And I feel like I had had earned that. And apparently the people looking at it, I didn't believe so. And that's fine. That that choice is out of my control. So I decided to start looking outside of this company. 
Um, I was a little unhappy with the fact that I wasn't selected to even interview. Um, and they, they were kind of pointing me in some other direction that, uh, would have been a lateral move rather than up. And I didn't like that either. And so, uh, to be able to move up in the world by that, I mean, provide better for my family, have even more flexibility to be able to go out and do the things such as the podcast, travel for the podcast, uh, to be able to go out and hunt the way that I want to hunt, to go to elk shaped camps and things like that. I needed to find a better job. And so I was looking elsewhere for that. Um, also not feeling stuck goes along with, again, I started the podcast in 2021 and I had felt for, I want to say about a year and a half to two years before I even started the podcast that I wanted to do something similar to that, to the podcast. I'd brought it up to a couple of people that I was close to and they were like, okay, cool. Yeah, that sounds fun. Whatever. They didn't know exactly how to start it. And then, um, I went to an elk shape camp in 2021 and, uh, spoke with Dan about it. And he's, he's all about, you know, action rather than words, which, you know, I 100% agree with. And, uh, he was like, let me know, you know, follow up with me about it. Let, let's do this. Let, 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 let's see how you, how you do it. And that was a good confidence booster. Um, I knew my wife supported the idea, but again, she didn't necessarily know how to, how to start a podcast either. So, all of those things, I had a good support network, a really good friend of mine named Clint. Uh, he's again, guys, if you want to stay at your job, your normal nine to five, and you don't want to get any better, uh, don't get to know Clint. <laughs> he is someone who definitely will point you in a direction of kind of entrepreneurship, but more even so getting better and not feeling stuck. So I had Clint there. Uh, again, Dan from Elk Shape. I had my wife. I had some other supportive family members, some really, really tight knit friends, Brent. Um, and yes, I'm giving all these people shout outs because they, they 100% deserve it. Uh, and I wouldn't be in this spot if it wasn't for them. And I started the podcast. I grabbed not necessarily the best microphone. Um, I started on a laptop. I, you know, just said, I'm going to get going. And I, I said to myself, I'm not going to invite anyone on the podcast until I'd hit a certain amount of podcast, solo podcast, it, regardless of how many downloads I had, I wanted to make sure that I was consistent. So again, not feeling stuck. Uh, so I started the podcast, started looking for other jobs. Um, those were probably the biggest two things that happened in 2021. And then I interviewed for a couple of different positions and found one that to the point where in the interview process, the guy who was going to be my boss and his boss were okay with me bringing up the fact that September, excuse me, end of August, early September to middle of September was a time that I'd be taking a lot of time off for hunting. They were absolutely fine with that in the interview process. So I just had hit a point where I was complacent and I needed to move forward and I did. So that is the biggest lesson that I learned from 2021 was not sitting back and just accepting life for what it is. I had made some good progress again, like I mentioned before, with fitness, with getting into archery, etc. But in all reality, it just kind of hit this takeoff moment near it was like the the first third of the year it just started going up and up and up and up and you know you could you could sit back and and say oh throw your hands up and well it'd be cool to have a podcast or be cool to do this or that and then just let that dream fly uh i didn't do that obviously (laughs) and with my job, I could have just thrown my hands up or folded my arms and been all pissed off about not getting the position that I wanted at this company. Well, uh, instead of that, I trudged forward through my MBA, made sure that I got my, you know, the college done. And I started interviewing at other places to make sure that, you know, I could take better care of my family and pursue the, the things that I wanted to do. 
So all of that would wrap up into, again, going back to what I said at the beginning, the lesson, the best lesson or biggest lesson of 2021 was not being stuck. You can feel stuck. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that feel stuck right now in your current position for whatever reason. You don't have to be stuck. If you want to be there, great. Don't complain about it. Don't do that. No one wants to be around someone who complains all the time. But if you feel stuck and you want to get out of it, take action. Make it happen. It's worth it. There are greener pastures out there as far as career, as far as, again, if you're wanting to start something with social media or working with different companies, you can do it. Just make sure you have a good support system around you because there will be days where you don't want to do it anymore. There will be days where you feel like you're not getting any return on the effort that you're putting in. But if you have someone that you can chat with, and again, not in a complaining way, but just saying, man, I'm feeling down. I feel like I've done this. How can I do better to provide? And you will. So if you're feeling stuck today, just know that you don't have to feel stuck. The time is going to pass anyway. And I did a podcast on that quote, that time is going to pass no matter what. Time doesn't care if you're feeling stuck. Time doesn't care what you want to do. Time's just going to go. Time's just trudging along. Boom, boom, boom. Step after step, minute after minute, second after second. Time is going to pass anyway. I can't believe it's already been over a year since... I mean, it's been a year and a half since I felt really stuck and started making action to move forward in my my goals. And here I am a year to a year and a half later, and I am just feel like I'm just getting started. But it feels good. And I want you to feel that way too. I want you not to feel stuck. If you're feeling stuck in being a parent, as far as you're not being a better parent, well then take some time to be a better parent. If you feel stuck in your fitness and nutrition, take time to dedicate to yourself. If you don't measure it, it won't improve. So find what you're wanting, how you're measuring, whether it be your career, fitness, family, faith, outdoors pursuits, whatever. Find your way of measuring that and what success means to you and get unstuck by taking that first step. Just do it. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I really appreciate that that question. Uh, it, it did, again, it took me a couple months to, to review my year of 2021, but really not feeling stuck and not just accepting the feeling of stuck, but doing something about it. That was the biggest thing I learned from last year. And again, we're just getting started here, guys. So thank you so much for your support. Please leave a review, follow, subscribe, whatever it may be to the podcast platform that you choose to listen to. I'm on just about all of them except for Audible, I think. So go subscribe, leave a review. If it's anything less than five stars, please let me know. Reach out to me, send me an email, message on Instagram, whatever, so that I can get better because I want to provide you with the content that you're wanting. So again, thank you so much for choosing this podcast, guys. I really appreciate it. Go subscribe over to the YouTube channel as well. I put out the videos of our uh, conversations and then like today, just the audio over there on, on YouTube. Go subscribe. Again, appreciate the support and hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Of course, get out, live your life and love it.